Hello, hi and welcome. Welcome to Able Bob Box. This video is all about how to get your King characters into the Unreal Engine. So, if you already have installed the software, fantastic, brilliant. All you have to do is open the software. When it opens, like this, click on Games. Third person. When you click on here, so it's left click here, left click here. When you see third person here, come down here, give it a name, click Create. Wait for a few seconds and he'll actually create the project for you. Once it's done that, then of course you can add your characters to your actual game. So in the next part of the video, I'm going to put the two videos together so it's one video. But in the next part of the video, you will actually see how easy it is to add your character to the game. Okay, continue watching. Thanks very much. Okay, in this part, once you've actually created your template, your third person template, it should open like this. Okay, down here, this is the most important part for your character. Click here, left click here on here, open the blueprint. This is your blueprint character. Okay, so this is what you start the game engine with. Okay, so if you press this and press play, you can actually see the character. Okay, now this character will walk around the screen, jump, and everything like that because it's got all the animations. Now we're going to import our own character. So I'm going to say, pick a file somewhere in here, or you can create a new one, it's up to you. I'm just going to stick my file in actually in my folder. So go development, into my folder, go to my collection. Inside here, you can actually see I've got a folder already in here. I'm going to open the folder. Say, well, how did you change the color of the folder? Right click, add a new folder. Right click the folder again, and go set color, and then pick a color you want. Say orange. Okay, you can, you can change the color, whatever color you want, to a new color, let's say green. Okay, we can just set it like that, if you want to do that. That's okay if you're putting grass and things like that in the game, so I want to go delete. Yep. Okay, so open the folder. What we want to do is get our character in here, if we haven't got one. Now, Mixamo offers about 86, 89 um, free um, models and animations. This is where I'm get my model from, temporarily. Put your download section because that's where I downloaded it. These are my animations look from my character. I need an idle animation, so I want this idle animation. Let's click hold it, drag it, leave it, import, just left click, give it a second, and it should actually do it. There you go, it's actually building the character. Give it a second, it's adding it all in there. Look, they, um, yep, beautiful, lovely. Wait till, you, wait till this goes off the screen, don't do nothing, and now clear that, and then clear that. Down here and just save all the actual settings. So, yep, save it so it knows all the information is actually already in there. So, this is our main character. Now, obviously, go back in again, back to downloads, open it. Now, I want a kind of a walking animation. So, we have this one walking, left click, hold it, drag it, okay. import it. Obviously, you drag these into their own folders. If you want to do, you can put them all in the same folder, it's up to, entirely up to you. Close that. So that's just so we got two different animations. Okay, and leave this as it is. Don't touch it. Go back to your third person. Go to blueprint. Click on the third person. Two left clicks. So you got your character. You put it in the in the engine. They can change it here. If you click here. I'll show you. If you look down this menu or look up in the menu, you see your two characters. You just put in there. One's idle. One's walking. Okay, now you can actually change the character from here. So if we go idle, you see the character changes. Okay, now if I close this, as you can see, my template has changed. Okay, now if I go play the game, that's my character. So now if I go backwards, if I go backwards, I can walk the character. Obviously, she can't walk because I'm given no actual animations. Okay, so I think, okay, I'm happy with that character. That's how easy, that's how easy it is to get your character actually into the engine. If you actually click on the engine, or sorry, on the engine, on the character, I said you can change it here. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to change it a different way. Click on the photograph instead. You can see the full version of the character. She's on Mixamo. Over here. Now this is the same thing, it's no different. Except in here, it's slightly different. So you can have a default animation. So the default animation, you can use Pacific. Okay, now the animation for the default, 
sorry, okay, now he's going to be idle, that's the default, or he's going to be walking, so the, the default is animation, is idle, it's the default, okay, the preview mesh, so the mesh we want, obviously you can choose which mesh we want, we have idle or walking, you can take the pick, whichever one you want, okay, so you can do that, close this, go back into our short game, now, I'm going to show you how to actually animate the actual thing. So you see, look, she, she's not walking yet. Okay, so I'm saying add all your animations in here so you can actually do all of the animations properly. So you want to idle animation, you want to run animation, you want to jump animation. If you go back in the game, look, I'll show you the controllers. You know she moves, and she also jumps. So if I press jump on the keyboard, she jumps. There's no point of jumping because she hasn't got the animation for jumping. So we need to fix the animation for that. Anyway. That's how to get the character, your character, into the game. Let's say you want the original character back in the game. So you don't want this character no more. Click here. And then you can go through the picture if you want to, or you just come down the list. It's just easier to do this. This was the original character. Click this one. She changes back to the original. Now, if I go back in here, look, she's changed. Now we go play the game. I'm playing the game now back at the original character. But because I've changed the character, I can't walk around like the original character because of, I haven't applied her animations okay so we applied the animations to the character anyway so anyway as I said that's how you get your character back in the game very easy very simple so anyway if you like it give me a thumbs up give me a like subscribe and as you say from as you say thumbs up thumbs down subscribe don't subscribe it's up to you and thanks very much for watching see you soon bye